Let me get you a glass of champagne. Why don't you just stick a cork in it, Adam? I'm not here to have a drink with you. Might do wonders for your nerves. My nerves are fine, thank you. Actually, I feel wonderful. And do you want to know why? Because I'm going to see a lawyer first thing in the morning to get your court order reversed. Oh, Dixie, you know better than to go up against me. I could keep you in court for months. Whatever it takes, all right? Then Junior and I are going back to Pigeon Hollow. Speaking of Junior, would you teach him some manners? He never came down to say good, good night before he went to bed. Well, that's because he's not here, all right? He's staying over with Jamie. At Ted's? Oh, how interesting. Jamie and Junior are best friends, all right? Just don't read anything into it. Uh, what were you and Ted doing all this time? Getting reacquainted? Hardly. Hmm. It might interest you to know, though, that your lovely ex stopped by. That's why you're in such a snit. I was wondering about your mood. My mood is just peachy, thank you. Yeah, it was until Liza showed up, anyway. Liza can go jump in a lake, for all I care. Yeah, well, as long as Ted's not too near with a life preserver. <laughs> I don't care. The hell you don't. Look, I cannot change the past, Adam. That woman slept with my husband and ruined my marriage, and it's fine, okay? I accept it. But what amazes me is that you and Liza aren't together anymore. You lovely couple should be together. You're two of a kind. Well, thank you. I take that as a compliment. Well, don't, because it's not. You know, you're too hard on people, Dixie. It's a shame you couldn't have put a lid on that temper of yours and given Ted the benefit of the doubt. There's not a chance in the world of Liza and Ted ever getting together again. Liza's future lies elsewhere. <laughs> Stop. Forget it. Dixie and I are coming back from this one. That bridge has been burnt. Bridges can be rebuilt. You and Dixie did it once before. Liza, spare me, okay? It's not going to happen. So, to what do I owe the honor of this visit? Well, I actually came to talk to you because I was worried about Stuart. He was attacked tonight. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Stuart, did you even get a glimpse of this guy? Oh, no, I didn't. Eliza didn't either. I was supposed to have dinner with Marion tonight. I'm so glad she wasn't with me. I'd, I'd never forgive myself if anything happened to her. I'm sure she's fine, Uncle Stuart. Could I, could I use the phone and see if she's sent, left a message? Yeah, sure. yeah, I'll get it for you. No, no, it's okay. I, I can do it. I'm okay. Guys, we got to get a description of this guy. Lee Hawkins could walk right by us and we wouldn't even know it. If it is Lee Hawkins... I mean, I agree, the chances are very remote, but we can't rule out a random mug. No, 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 no. no I, I think he's right. I think he's right. It is. We have to assume it's Lee. We've got to protect ourselves. I'll call the Ohio DMV, see if he's got a license, maybe a picture. All right, if that doesn't work, we do a national search, all right? She didn't leave a message. I've got to find out what happened to Marion. Uncle Stewart, you're it. What? Can't you... Uh, draw us a sketch of Lee Hawkins. You know, like the police use. Could you do that? You, you mean to identify criminals? Yes! Well, I guess so. Well, uh, that's great. I, I, I don't know what good it'd do. I haven't seen Lee Hawkins for, for 20 years, over 20 years. Well, hit us with your best shot, anything. There you go. Oh, great. Well, uh, he, uh, he always wore a hat, and, and uh, he had a... A uh, full beard, and he was—he uh, was kind of big, about 180, 185, and and he was 
It was kind of chunky, and uh, what I remember most were his mean, hard eyes. Why should I believe you're finished with the Chandlers? I'll prove it to you. I, 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 I've got a piece of paper in my purse, and if you get me a stamp and an envelope, I'll write a letter to Stuart, and I'll tell him I'll never want to see him again. And if you mail it tonight, he'll get it in the morning, and then he'll never come looking for me again. No, oh, my way's more permanent. No, no, you, you, you don't want to bring the police into it. And it would give me great pleasure to get rid of Stuart. Well, now you're making some sense. Yes, he'll get the letter, and I'll tell him that we're going off together, that, that um, uh, so he'll never see me again, that we're going to Istanbul or Nova Scotia or Bermuda. Not, I don't care, really. Just get rid of him. I will. I really will. And then Stuart will never think about me or want to come after me again. And it'll just be the two of us together. All right? You'll like that, won't you, darling? Yeah, pretty awful, really. It's great. Well, a man can change a lot in 20 years, Haley. If Lee Hawkins is around, he, he probably doesn't look anything like that anymore. Yeah. What do you think? I don't know. He doesn't look familiar to me. He doesn't look like anybody we know. It's a dead end. That's my contact. Social Security. He's been collecting Social Security checks from a P.O. box in Center City. This could be the break we need. We'll stake the place out. If he's unemployed, he needs money. He'll walk right into our trap. Well, uh, what do you think? You're a good woman. Oh, yes, you can count on me. Um, now, can I ask you to do something for me, please? Sure. Anything, Joy. I want to make you happy. Could we go out for a drive, you know, just ramble through the countryside, get a little air? What do you take me for? No, no, I'm not leaving here until my work is done. But the letter, you don't have to hurt Stuart anymore. Oh, the Chandlers took our baby from us. It's only right. Daughter for a daughter. We're not leaving here until Haley's dead. <laughs> You're losing it if you think Liza's gonna look at you twice. Why don't you let me worry about Liza? You worry about stopping the insemination. It's a done deal, David. Undo it. It's scheduled. Unscheduled it. I can't. Allie, Allie, Allie. Such a defeatist attitude. Whatever happened to my naturally clever girl? Are you trying to make me crazy? You were smart enough to pull off that videotape scam. You can certainly prevent a sperm from impregnating a tiny little egg. Allie Doyle, that kid from nowhere who tricked a prestigious medical school and became a doctor. She was savvy. She didn't worry about normal channels. She went over them, around them, through them. She did what she needed to succeed. In fact, you would still be a doctor if you didn't become all self-righteously destructive and turn yourself in. Make it sound like being devious is a virtue. Don't get tripped up by middle-class morality, Allie. You have the potential for greatness. So better to become someone like you? Someone who's only out for herself and will manipulate and hurt anybody just to get what she wants. That's horrible. Well, it makes for a wonderful lifestyle. <laughs> you know what? I hate it. It makes me sick just, just looking into the mirror. You know, not that you would ever get this, but Jake happens to be the sweetest, kindest guy in the world. That's why I came forward about my records, David, because I wanted to come clean so I could be fresh and worthy of the man that I love. Please, please, you're gonna make me sick. Well, you wanna recite old tort song lyrics? Fine. How about this one? You can't love him if you don't have him. Well, I, I can't do it your way. Jake fell in love with a woman who's better than that. 
My advice, don't be too hasty. Just go, please. Well, why did Tad send an SOS then? Hey, bro. Hey. Here for a libation? Oh. Just got off the phone. Stuart's going to be fine. Ted's well, a little swollen. What's going on? Why, why the emergency page? Well, I hear you guys have a very busy day scheduled tomorrow. Oh, or the day after, or the day after that, whatever. Yeah, but I think it's going to be tomorrow. Yeah? Yeah. It's not too late to call it off. Why on earth would we do that? Everything's all set, Tad. Look, I'm going to say this one last time. All right, then I'll hold my peace. Unset it. Forget about it. Or you're going to be sorry. I told you before, this is none of your business. No, wait. Jake, let Tad have a say. I love you guys, both of you, very much. I don't want to stand by and watch you get hurt. I would go through fire to, to save you pain. So I can't stand by and let watch you inflict it on yourselves. Right now, this seems like a good idea on paper, okay? No hassles for you, no strings attached. But it's not that simple. It's really not going to be that simple when you have a live, living, flesh and blood baby in your arms. After that, it's no holes barred. All plans go up in smoke, all bets are off. I know this thing as well as I know my son's name. You're in for big trouble unless you call this off right now. Well, I know you had to say it. And I thank you for it because I know that you said it from love. But I, I want to do this. How do you feel? You know I'm with you. All the way. All right, then, so am I. For better or worse. <laughs> Let's hope it's for better. Here. <laughs> Give you get the can. can. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it reminds you of something. I want to propose a toast. <laughs> All right. To friends, miracle of friends, and the miracle of children, Uncle Tad. <laughs> I can't wait for this baby to come. I can't wait to meet it. Here, here. Here, here. Here, here. Dog, you actually think you and Liza are going to get back together, don't you? You do. You've deluded yourself into thinking that you two have some kind of future together. What is that cocktail you're drinking? Is it like acid in champagne? You got a little first-class trip going on? There are some things beyond your knowing, Dixie. Really? Well, know this. Tomorrow, I see a lawyer. Jerk. And tomorrow, I become a father again. I gotta tell Jake what Adam did. I can't do this to him. Yes, is Dr. Jake Martin there, please? Well, do you know where he is? It's very important. It's an emergency. What'd you think? Ooh, I still have the touch. Bye-bye.